Hey food lovers and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. On today's episode, we will be featuring what most people love to hate, the salad. While a majority consider a salad to be made up of lettuce and other veggies tossed in dressing, we want to show how to mix it up. Our special guest today has been with us before and loves food as much as she has developed her passion for Fit Club. Since joining, she's been looking for ways to cook classic dishes with clean ingredients and lots of flavor. With the classic salad, she will be making it with carrots, chickpeas, and an herb poppy seed dressing, as well as a play on a peanut butter and jam kale salad. And also an air fryer chicken and a sal with a spicy sesame salad. Everyone, please let's welcome Jessica. Hi everybody! Hey Jessica! Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks for coming on board. Um, I'm so happy to be here since, um, well, COVID hit. I've been doing a lot of vegetables and research on like how to make things better. Okay. Like sometimes salads get such a bad rap, and I was like, I want to make something really good out of certain salads. So I go to like places like Enoteca that do a lot of like modern French cuisine, and mm -hmm. they like do they do amazing things with vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my inspiration sometimes. But I'll be at home and like I said, like we doing the chicken, the air fryer chicken in a cell. That's part part of my roots because I'm Filipina. Um, so is the chicken anisole a Filipino dish then? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a, like a common street food. Mm -hmm. Like I had a preview earlier about it. Right. So here um, we have our air fryer pampered chef. Um, and it, I just learned how to use it like in like a minute here. Um, we're having it on a roast with uh, 26 minutes um, at 375. And just a quick peek here. So... I did a chicken breast bone in with skin just to amp up the flavor. Um, it's not a whole lot of like bad, but at least you have some flavor there from the skin. Um, Is and this we're gonna seasoned chicken already? Yeah. And okay. then right here, I like had, the, I saved the marinade just to show you guys. Um, I did a coconut sugar. Like I said earlier, we did coconut sugar and I have this calamansi extract, which is a very common um, fruit, uh, kumquat in the Philippines. Uh, I use it a lot. I even use it sometimes when I want like to, to amp up my green tea okay. instead of using lemon or lime. I use calamansi, which is really good. Um, and then it has, it doesn't traditionally have lemongrass, but I want to just put some more pun uh, punch into that and garlic, ginger, salt and pepper. And then traditionally within a cell, we have a natto seeds. What is that? It's like, um, it's just to like, usually it's a, it's the color our ingredients. So like in Pancit, it's to make your food look vibrant. So if your food looks colorful, you're gonna wanna eat it more. Right. Um, so I made that earlier and I show, I think I showed you guys, but I have it here. It's just to add like more of a flavor. It has like a tiny, like I've tasted it before. It's not too much of a flavor difference, but when your food looks good, then you want to eat it. <laughs> of course. So we're going to use this to baste the chicken halfway through. But while we're waiting for that, um, as Neri had mentioned earlier, we're doing a carrot chickpea salad. I'm just going to put this here now. Um, this inspo was from a Whole Foods book that I got during uh, our quarantine last year. Um, I really like it. The flavor is really popped with me because it all had herbs in it. And most people, when they do dressings and they always like, use oil, they use always too much oil in it. Whereas I like to showcase what the veggie can bring to life. So herbs are a good way to do it. Um, and so I, what do we have here? We have the dill. Yeah, we have dill. And we have parsley. Mm -hmm. We have some cilantro and then what is uh, this, this is just mint. mint? Yeah. And then this is basil. Basil? Okay. So I'm going to just take all of these. I washed them already. And we're going to just cut it up. I'm just going to take off the stems. Yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> take off the leaves. You don't want to eat the stems because I don't think it's edible, is it? No, it, it's it will, woody. It, it just does not give a good flavor. And it doesn't look <laughs> nice too, right? When you have all these herbs and then the stem. Yeah. But I'm actually glad you're making the salad because you always hear that saying, you don't make friends with salad. But you know what? You do need to make <laughs> friends with salad. You yeah. do. Yeah. It, it is your best friend. <laughs> Salads are like, well, I always like, I growing up, my mom was always like, you have to eat salad because 
it's good for you. I'm like, but why? Like, why is it good for you? So that's when my curiosity got the best of me, and I just researched it a lot. And then, then she's like, hey, you love food. Why don't you go culinary? But, you know, it goes to show you that salads don't have to be boring. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I like, um, and also been listening to a lot of food casts and, um, yeah, like the idea of just having more, more herbs, especially in the summer, uh, it, it'll brighten up your salad a lot and it'll make you want to eat it instead of like, oh, I have to eat a salad again. I hate it. It's funny because you just reminded me of my friend. He was, this was a couple of years ago. He was trying to eat healthier and he was always eating salads. But guess what his salad was made out of? But it was just iceberg lettuce and dressing. Oh, yeah. And I, I would say, Grant, you can't be eating iceberg le or lettuce and just dressing. But it wasn't even dressing. It was just like, I think, an oil and vinegar. It was just very plain. So, I yeah. mean, obviously, if you're just going to have one ingredient, it's not, you're not going to stick to it. Yeah. But I like how this has lots of ingredients. Yeah. And um, if you guys want to, uh, the title of the book is called Whole Foods 30. And... I think oh, I just got with 30. Okay, yeah. I've heard of that. It's I just take a, uh, some of the recipes there and then I get inspired by most of them. This one was really good just because I got to discover um, white balsamic vinegar over here because a lot of it, a lot of people go to um, like the regular balsamic and it's too deep and they're like, oh, I don't like balsamic because it has this weird smell and it's not good and it's good. It is good. This one is this one is actually sweeter because it's it's more um, what is it? on the back here it says it just um it's it's sweeter yeah like white wine is sweeter than red wine oh red yeah wine. unless you add more sugar to it so I'm gonna put this in here and I just need one more bowl oh, one more I'm gonna bowl? toss sure like a big bowl or a small bowl uh, big like like this size or bigger? Um, just a little bit bigger. Okay. I'm gonna toss. The, um, oh, wait, the oh, I can't reach oh this one's there. big. This one? Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So we're just gonna take our. I already took chickpeas and I rinsed it. Throw a cup chickpeas. Yeah. I I like to do a lot of freehand. <laughs> Um, so this is really good if you get one. You don't have to use all the whole bag unless you really want to eat it. Um, so it says, is it rinsed already? It's going to rinse it. Unless the bag doesn't say it's rinsed, I'm going to rinse it. <laughs> Just going to say hi to some of our viewers. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Tracy. Hello, Tracy. Amanda Hodgson. Hey, Amanda. Alyssa, hi Hello, Morris. Alyssa. All right, give some, give us some, uh, send us some, some 200 stars. <laughs> 200 stars. Send us some gold stars. <laughs> send us some stars. Send us some salads. <laughs> <laughs> so rinsed, easy. Then you can always like take the other parts of the bag and then add it to like a stir fry or something like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's always so flexible. And then we're gonna. Just toss these together. So you want more carrot than chickpea. If you if you did want to add more, like like uh, you wanted to use this as a side, I usually like using this as a snack. Oh, as a snack? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then to add more textures to it, I I'm gonna cut up figs, and then I'm just gonna. Uh, pound out some almonds yeah if people are allergic to nuts then obviously don't use it I think you can use pine nuts because pine nuts aren't actually a nut is it I don't think so I think pine nut um it's like it's called a nut but it's not really a nut like it doesn't have like the the, the thing that gives if, you allergies. maybe someone can tell me a pine nut. The difference with a pine nut and an actual nut, but I think there is a big difference. And, then, and those are figs? Yeah, these are figs. I got them like a big bag. Oh, it looks different from the yeah. figs that I've had because I, I can see the seeds. Yeah. I got this at uh, Costco. Oh, at Costco? Yeah. I just add it to your salad. Any dried fruit would work, but I like, I was. I had uh, like a lot of figs at home, mm -hmm. so I took what I, I could from, from there. 
So you can always like substitute the figs for any other dried fruit, the yep. almonds for any other apricots, nuts. Upper, dried apple oh, apricots, apricots really yeah. yeah. Depends on like how much, how sweet you want it. Okay. I find that uh, I you could like even rehydrate it back and then have, um, you can make like a fig jam from it. You could add some agave to make it sweeter and then that way you have some jam at home. You don't have to like buy, go out and buy, at least you know what's in it. Because I find that most jams have like, like obviously have pres preservatives in it. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna mix it. I use poppy seed too to give it more texture. See, when you're like chewing more at home or like a salad, you get, like it takes time to eat it. So you're enjoying it. You're like thinking, oh, like there's so many things happening in my mouth right now with flavor. A party in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> So well, they say party in their mouth when people are drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but we make friends with salad. <laughs> yes. Our best friend. I know poppy seed has some like detoxing properties. Okay. Um, and, and it just tastes good, I think. Can you omit the poppy seed if you want to? Yeah. I don't I think just, I've ever had poppy seeds. Yeah. I use poppy seed just for this salad. So. Okay. <laughs> Um, so here I'm gonna, what I've been learning a lot is I toss it in vinegar, so I do like one swirl. Oh. And then I toss it. And why, why we put the vinegar first is so that the oil sticks to it and um, we can control the oil. Whereas a lot of people will think like, Oh, it tastes good because there's like, I made the vinaigrette already and it just, to me, I think when you want a salad, you need to like experience the veggies. Um, or different textures. Yeah, too. different textures as well. And then we'll take this and same thing, kind of equal. And then I taste a lot of my food after. And then you can always add seasoning or whatever you need. So for this salad, the longer it sits, will it taste better? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like your herbs. So we're actually going to let this salad sit for about 10 minutes before we eat it. Okay. Okay. That was my, uh, yeah, my sensor telling me to flip the chicken. Oh, you're going to record me? Okay. <laughs> I just got this. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to, like, baste go. it with that. Oh, I'm going to baste this? Yeah. Right here. Okay. Before uh, you flip it? Before I flip yeah. it? Yeah. Or, yeah, before you flip it. Okay, hang on. I flipped this one already. So. So the color just gives it that you're wanting to eat it, you know? Mm-hmm. So it looks cooked too, right? <laughs> you don't want a pink chicken. Yeah. You don't want it to look too bland. It looks good so far. Okay, and flip it? Yeah. Okay. And what was this thing that you're basting it with again? It's the annatto oil. Oh, oh, it's oil, okay. Yeah. Uh, you can just baste that one. And where can you find this onado oil? Um, it's most, so I made this one at home. The How do you seeds. Make it? Uh, so at home, you take the oil, like any oil, I use canola. And then um, you just steep the seeds in the oil for like three to five minutes. And oh, then it's okay. Done. God, so it kind of reminds me of like a chili oil then. Yeah. Oh, so that's why, they, how do you make it red? Mm -hmm. The color. The color. We're just missing banana leaves now. <laughs> it's good. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll put that back in. Oh, let me just wipe this first. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no. That's okay. Garbage. Okay, so we're just done, about done our salad. We're gonna let it 
sit and marinate in the fridge for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna work on that peanut butter salad. Yeah, you caught my attention on this peanut butter and jam salad. Yeah. I was like, peanut butter and jam? <laughs> but I thought about it, right? Because yeah. a lot of Asians, you we use peanut butter in our salads or you know, chopped up peanuts, peanut dressing, and it tastes really good. And then you make it sweet too. So then it, mm -hmm. it reminded me of that. So it's not, it didn't, it wasn't as weird as I thought it would be. Yeah. So um, when I, the inspiration for this dish was, I was in, I was at home and we finally were able to have people over and I was, they're like, oh, we're gonna bring barbecued stuff, like a lot of meat. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a salad. Mm -hmm. And then um, a lot of people were like, oh, a salad, why? And I'm like, don't worry, trust me. And they ended up finishing the salad before all the other food, which was really nice. <laughs> Um, and I think what makes a, the the salad is the the sugar part of it or the sweetness of it. And um, I find when you like balance all your your flavors, it's you won't have to look for any more. So this where what we're using is black kale. It has more of like a peppery taste to it. So I just pull it off this way. Hey, Kathy Bodie. Hi, Kathy. Kathy says she will make this for sure. Yes, please, Kathy. Yes. I think yeah. I'll make it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have extra. So we're using kale leaves. Can you use any other? Yeah, you can use any other kale. Like you can use kale. Um, a hardier leaf is good. Uh, Swiss chard. I know it's a little bit bitter, mm -hmm. uh, but because of how much sweetness there is in the dressing, it's, I think it's appropriate because you want to balance everything out. I don't think I've ever tried Swiss chard. Yeah, it's kind of like a little bitter. Oh, you know, I did try it. Yeah. I have tried it. Um, one of our members, Jan, gave me some of hers. Oh, okay. It tasted really good. That's so good. I love, I love just changing up your leaves, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not just like romaine. It doesn't or, have to be romaine yeah. or the boring iceberg or yeah, what else. Yeah, exactly or spinach, you can yeah. use anything else. Yeah, we're gonna, that's what we're remissing today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love the texture of this too. You could also put it in your soups, like miso soup or miso dressing, and it kind of mimics like the texture of sea, or seaweed. Seaweed, okay. Yeah, I love it. Sometimes I'll just snack on leaves. When I used to drink alcohol all the time. Wait, you would snack on leaves? <laughs> yeah, I just like snack salad on salad leaves or sesame? Just any leaves. Oh, any leaves? Like we would, I would just chase with like romaine lettuce. And they're like, why? <laughs> you know what, that's better like, than I chasing it. it with Coke, right? Yeah, or I'm like, because <laughs> I'm watching my calories and they're like, you're so, not. So alcohol and leaves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a party. Right? And eventually I cut the alcohol out. <laughs> but you stayed, you stuck with the leaves. Yeah. <laughs> This has helped me so far, like through like my journey with like getting healthy. So, but you know, what? you do actually want to eat dark leaves. The mm -hmm. the darker the leaves are, the better for you. Yes, there's more vitamins and nutrients. Yes, it's very good. Um, and especially if you don't cook it out so much, it just it gives you more depth and it gives you more of like um, it makes you feel good. Yeah. Okay, so next step here. Well, yeah, Maria says, I love Swiss chard. Okay, I have to try it again. Yeah. I only try it in the summertime because uh, a lot of others have gardens, right? Yeah. And so I don't have a garden. We tried. We actually tried growing our own garden last year. It was such a big fail. We had <laughs> um, a watermelon plant. It was already grown. We, we bought it from like Canadian Tire. We had yeah. a strawberry plant. Mm -hmm. I think a cantaloupe plant too. And then I think we had seeds for like a cucumber. Mm -hmm. It rained one time <laughs> and then it flooded everything. Oh. We haven't we haven't grown a garden since. Oh. But I'm gonna try growing another garden yeah. this year. COVID's, COVID's helping because we like have to stay home anyways, right? Might as well tend to a garden. Can you believe it's been a year already of COVID? Yeah, it's crazy. A year. A year and, I don't know, like 15, 16 months. Okay, so, so what I have here is I soak some currants in here, if you could see. And I find when I cook, people say I hate raisins. And I, I think the main reason why some people don't like raisins is the texture and how like it's not, and sometimes it's not as flavorful. And when you rehydrate them, they kind of like 
Oh, it plumps up. Yeah. So it gets juicy again, which is good. Is what you want. Oh yes, currants. They're they're very dry, right? Yeah. yeah. And they're smaller than raisins. Yeah. Uh, I just need a spoon. Oh, it's just over there, the yep. left side, left side. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. All right. So I just soaked them. Again, it's all about the textures, and I'm just gonna toss it in here. You soaked it in water. You can soak it in. It in the original recipe, it says to soak it in vinegar, but I don't want to. <laughs> oh, wait, to soak this in vinegar? Yeah. What kind of vinegar? Just like a, a neutral one. So a neutral like, one, okay. Oh, yes. And then this one is our roasted peanuts, the peanut part of it. So this is the jam part because it's like little berries and stuff. And I'm just going to like cut it a little. Sometimes. I'm so scared to do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just curl my fingers a lot. I mean, you're told when you're using a knife to curl your finger so you don't mm -hmm. actually cut the tip of your fingers or your nail. Yeah. But that looks so scary. <laughs> I've, I've done it before and my chef says, that's why you have nails. <laughs> I'm like, it. oh, thank you. I would just use, you know, that motor and pestle and just bang oh, it. Yeah. That's, that's the fun way, but it's so noisy too. Yeah. My mom, she's like, she always freaks out when she, when she sees me do this. So next, we're just gonna do that same kind of um, vinegar and oil. Okay, so we're using apple cider vinegar yes, here. we're out using apple cider vinegar. So last time we used the white balsamic, but right. apple cider vinegar has more of a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and just toss it in. Because it's such a heavier leaf, I'm gonna probably have to add a little bit more. Yeah, I can hold a lot. And then we're gonna add oil. Again, because it's such a heavier leaf, we're gonna add a little bit more. And then toss it. If you want to add, I know that because I've had the salad before, I'm gonna add more of like a sweet profile to it. So I have agave. And it's gonna do a little bit here. Originally I had put just nutmeg and cinnamon, but I've been obsessed with spiceology lately. I'm a shout out to Matola. <laughs> um, I've got all these like cool pure um, spices from there and it already has the cinnamon, sour anise and a, a few more flavors Fennel, in there. ginger, clove. Yeah, so it, like it kind of unites everything. I'm gonna put just like a little bit. So it's called a five spice, is that what they use for shrimp? Five spice squid? I think so. Okay. But they, they use, I think what they do is they add more of like a, the chili after. Oh, okay, yeah. I gotta try this. Yeah. Is it spicy? Uh, no, it's just like other spices in there. I taste the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. It's funny, you know, because every time uh, there's a dish that tastes really good and you're always asking someone, what's the special ingredient? Yeah. It's always cinnamon. Yeah. Cinnamon, right? Cinnamon, yeah. It's like so I, good. I was eating this dish at, like lasagna like 10 years ago, right? And I was like, it tastes different. What's inside it? Cinnamon. Yeah. Or I ate this chili. And I was like, what's inside it? <laughs> cinnamon. <laughs> like, cinnamon? <laughs> Cinnamon's a game changer. It is. Um, oh, yes. And then I forgot to mention... So when Neri was dry roasting it earlier, she, we also put the ancho chili in it. And it's just to like get more depth. And I, I just add a lot of things at home. Like I said, I always experiment. I always try different things because food is like so big and so vast. So if you guys have questions sometimes, you guys can bug me and ask me and we can make, or maybe we can make something that's accustomed to your liking. Um, this one, like I said, be polite, like more texture, more more of a party in your mouth, the salad remix. Be pollen. So it doesn't really have okay. like let me try some. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really have uh like be pollen. Yeah. It just gives more texture to your 
salad. How is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it B? Um, I'm not too sure. To the, I don't know how I would uh, describe this. It has a sweet taste. Mm -hmm. I don't. You know, I need to try some more. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> but it smells good. And then my last thing I'm gonna add are mulberries. I also researched this. You'll see it's it's just like a raisin, but it's white. Oh wow. It's really good. I like it. Okay, give me some of that. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like. It looks like these pussy lilies that my kid was picking yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, he had some there. He like put it right in my face. So we're gonna mix it and then we're gonna try a leaf and then see if we need to add more um, seasoning to it or oil or what have you. And let's grab the fork. Oh, our chicken's almost done. Oh, I forgot all about the chicken. <laughs> See, that's a good thing with the pampered chef air fryer. Yeah. You just set it and then you forget it. Forget <laughs> it. I like it. I like set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Pampered chef. Pampered chef. We're selling it. We're selling a contact. What? What are they RJ called? And R RJ and No, no, they call themselves something. Oh, I don't know. What do you call yourself, RJ? Contact the two buff dudes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're called. <laughs> oh, is this done? Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, this is the peanut butter and jelly kale salad. I'm gonna make sure I get lots of this. Mm -hmm. The nuts here. Oh, I think it needs some uh, salt, Himalayan salt. Oh, okay. Put the salt in first before I try it. The pink salt. And I just mix it, yeah. yeah. Okay. Always taste the food. That's why it's on my finger. <laughs> oh, did, show them your new yeah, tattoo. Okay. All right. Mom, don't watch this. <laughs> she got a sandwich here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm promoting salads today. <laughs> How's it? It actually tastes really good. It works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyone have any other ideas, like classic ideas they want to throw in? and then Let us know. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we'll try to make it work. Okay, but Jessica, I want to know why did you get a sandwich tattoo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let, let's hear that story. Okay. What's this all about? <laughs> so one of the chefs I used to work with um, at King and Ban, at King and Banatine is a sandwich shop. So one of my chefs like, hey, on your last day, let's do something. Is this cooked? Let's do something fun. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get a plate. Yeah. He's like, let's do something fun. And I was like, okay. He's like, let's get a gumball tattoo. And if you don't know what a gumball tattoo is, basically pay $80. You get what you get. You either get the tattoo or you don't. So I did get it, obviously. And it was a nasty one. And um, I was like, well, I kind of want to change it now. Like, I want to clean it up and, like, make it look nicer. So this is an ode to King and Bannatine. Did you call it a gumball tattoo? Yeah, so it's like a gumball machine, and then different artists will have different stuff, different stuff in there, and then you just get what you get. So I think, yeah, I think it needs just a little bit yeah. more, like it's just a little bit pink, pink still. So let's just put it in there. Perfect. So like maybe five, no, seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah. Okay. Easy to use. Mm. Hey. And then just do that. Okay. How about our other salad? Okay, let's check it. Let's check it. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's right here. Ooh, it smells good. Here, we're gonna mix it again, and then we'll try it. Oh, it's okay. It's this side, right? Yes. I'm just gonna get a bunch. Yes. Keep going back and forth. So when I make my salads, I do it based on like what veggie I'm eating and I wanna really taste the carrot or whatever. Mm. Perfect? Mm -mm. Oh, no, not perfect? Okay, salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
I love salt. I, I literally put on everything. Okay. Now, the salad, can you, do you have to use carrot? Can you use something else? Um, yeah. You can use, I guess you can use peppers. Oh, it's so good. It's the herbs. Yeah, the herbs really. <laughs> Any neutral kind of root veg, I guess. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, the chicken and a salad, the Filipino chicken, what would you normally serve that with? <laughs> rice. Oh, rice? It's the rice. <laughs> mm. You could do, like, I was gonna do a brown rice salad, but nothing compares to just a bowl of white rice and then ulam, what we call it. And what's ulam? It's like a rice topper. So, like, we, like, sinigang, DJ sinigang, that's like something you need to eat with rice because it kind of dilutes, there's so many flavors in it, but it kind of dilutes it and it just, Something we grew up with, like okay. rice is life. <laughs> it's a staple, right? Yeah. But with, with the sinigang, I mean, um, ever since we had it on the, when Wilson made it, right? Mm -hmm. There was actually a, enough ingredients that I made it again. I made it again because I already wanted to eat some sinigang, right? So I ate it as a soup though. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't actually need the rice because no. I put in so many veggies and mm -hmm. the liquid, mm -hmm. the broth just made me very full. So I didn't mm -hmm. actually need the rice. Yeah. Though. That's you can another option. Put the potatoes in the sinigang. Oh, yeah. potatoes too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once, once you put the potato in there, you get the rice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Jerome, then you need to be on the show and <laughs> yeah. teach us some of these yeah. Filipino dishes. Someone has to. Okay, I'll do the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, actually, it's it's funny though because we have other people that know how to work the camera now. Yeah. And so when we do the virtual filming, right? Jerome is working out with us because we have others that are assisting. Yeah. And so, working the camera. There you go. So if you guys want to see Jerome on on camera, let us know. <laughs> press one. Press one. Press one for yes. Press two for no. <laughs> press one for yes, two for no. <laughs> or type one or type two. Okay? So no Where's one is commenting. <laughs> do you guys want to see Jerome, yes or no? <laughs> We're going to do our last salad to complement the, um, the inasal. So... It's just a super quick, this one's super quick and easy. I just, this is what I made at home. I tested it on Tuesday. Because I was like, I don't want to eat rice. I need to eat salad today. Sometimes I just substitute it. Or my mom will say, she's like, oh, you're not going to have rice today? And I'm like, no, I'm going to have my veggies today. Do you ever save this? No. Because you can actually put this in water, right? I think two inches of water and then it actually grows again. It regrows. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. it's a tip. Oh, start, up, start up your garden. Oh, no. I can't even That's grow fine. my... I'll, I will save this and I will show you guys next week on Neri's Kitchen. The growth there of this. Go. There. You, okay. <laughs> Progress. But you can do this with green onions, um, celery. Oh, yeah, because it has like a root, right? Yeah, there's the root. Or if you have some herbs that already have the root, it can grow as well. Uh, I'm just gonna use this one. Sure. Just using up all your bowls. <laughs> so this one's super easy. You just have to put it in here. Your leaves. The brown leaves, I don't like it. It's just a normal spring salad. Yeah, normal spring, spring salad. My favorite is called crispies and crunchies. I love texture. It's all about what what you can like enjoy in your mouth. <laughs> So add this, and then have all my stuff here ready. So I'm gonna use rice vinegar. Just a little bit. And then this so is spicy sesame oil. It looks like only Kathy Bodie wants to see Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> you get a hundred yes, and I'll be on the show. <laughs> Like I said, again, like the, I always just feature the veggie itself. You can always add more vinegar, add more oil, but at the end of the day, it's what your flavor profile is. And I love, like I said, I'm like always eating veggies or lettuce by itself. So it's not hard for me to please with salads. And what's this? So this is the spicy sesame salad, the sesame seeds. Okay. And then... I added, a, if you want more sweetness, agave. This is this could also be vegan. 
Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Because if you use honey, that's not vegan, yeah. but agave is vegan. Yes. If you didn't know that. Yeah. Honey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you're not. Okay. So honey is vegan. No, honey is not vegan because technically you're taking the honey away from the bees. Yeah. And the bees are an animal. Yeah. So, and that's it. And we're going to try it. That was pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Wait, does it need salt? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Go. <laughs> oh, I like the color on this. Mm -hmm. It's spicy, so be careful. Mmm. This is my favorite one so far. Mm -hmm. Like it took me like three minutes. Yeah, it's definitely my favorite. Yeah. It's yep. the spice. Yeah. The hot sesame oil for sure. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Perfect timing. Yeah, it's perfect timing. Do this. We'll take the top one. The top one is probably, yeah. Do this. Shut this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's cooked. Okay, I'll get you to handle that, Jessica. Okay. Just take this out. We'll take out all of them. Okay. We'll make a nice little plate. So we need more plates? Okay. Whoa, it smells good. <laughs> Does it remind you of Philippines? Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, Jerome, you were supposed to go to the Philippines last year. Yes. Yeah, it was canceled. because Canceled. Canceled. All right, so all this stuff, we can like get rid of it. I'm just gonna plate it all and move this out. Hi, Lesia. Thanks for tuning in. We did it. Half an hour. <laughs> yeah, we did. Was it really half an hour? Almost. Almost made it. <laughs> we just get so into it. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna grab another cutting board. Okay. Yeah, that's my glass cutting board. Oh. Oh, it's too big. It's too big. Okay. That's okay. We'll just do this. Okay. Um, so here... You're just like me. I'm like, oh, if it's too big. <laughs> oh, like I don't really want to use a big bowl if I don't need to. Um, and like you could still have rice af like a little bit on the side, but I always follow that rule. Like half your plate is your veggies. And then... I don't think that one's done yet. We'll just move this back. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try the chicken. Yeah. Do do do. Fork. And we also have toyomanti, which is traditionally served with um, inasal. And I did this at home already. But it has the calamansi juice. And if you want an alternative for soy sauce, I brought this just to show you. It's called liquid aminos. And it has amino aminos on the back. It'll educate you here in the back. So it's not, there's not too much sugar in it. And it's good for you. <laughs> okay, so what's inside this again? So it's the calamansi juice with the aminos okay. and garlic. And that's it. Got it, okay. So, or you can just use soy sauce and then yeah. like vinegar and garlic. Yeah. It. it smells good. So let's try. I'm going to cut some. Sure. It's cooked perfectly. Mm hmm. Air fryer. Do you use an air fryer often? Uh, no. I, I was going to get one. I was looking into getting one. So, RJ. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just RJ. contact the two buff dudes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna try it by itself. Okay. Um, it's hot. It's hot. No. Okay. Mhm. Mm Blow. Mhm. Mm oh, I like that. Mhm. Mm can taste a a little bit of sweetness in it. I can taste the lemongrass. Mhm. Mm and if you want to add more flavor, dip it in here. 
Oh yeah. And you said this is a Filipino street meat dish. Mm -hmm. And how do they normally sell it in the Philippines then? Is it on skewers or is it just like the whole? Um, RJ, I mean, Jerome, it's more on a skewer or no? Uh, yes. Yeah. Now you're gonna have it with the salad. Well, thank you so much, Jessica, for showing us all three salads. We have, once again, the uh, carrot chickpea salad. And then we have this peanut butter and jam kale salad, <laughs> which is made out of, um, is it currants? Currants and, and peanuts. Uh, peanuts and mulberries. And mulberry. Mm -hmm. And then we have the chicken and a sal, and then, I don't know what the salad is called. The spicy sesame salad. The spicy sesame, okay, this is my favorite salad because I like the I like the flavors, the especially the spice. Mm -hmm. But it was really yummy. So thank you so much, Jessica. No problem. Coming on board and showing us three different salads. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed this, please let us know. And uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, bye. Bye now. Woohoo! Gonna put this back. <laughs>